Look at that view, guys. That's so cool. I spent $1,500 to convert my car into a camper, which is basically a house on wheels. And today we're sleeping next to the Hudson River with a view of New York City. Woo. Let's make some food. That's a lot better lighting, I'll tell you that much. Mmm. <laughs> all these people passing by and they have no clue I'm in here. It's kind of crazy. The solar panels are immediate giveaway. Somebody said that. No one, no, no one's even staring. This is a heavily Hispanic area, by the way. I think it was about 80% Hispanics. I wish my Spanish was better. I only know a few words. I think we'll finish this coffee and then go for a walk. Uh, the best part about this coffee is the creamer, to be honest with you. It's hazelnut flavor. That's my favorite. All right, let's go. Ooh. Okay, I think we're gonna take the stairs and then take the bridge and go all the way to that boardwalk. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Imagine living here. The apartments that you see behind me go for around three million and their rent is around $6,000 a month. That was a quick walk. What was that, five minutes? Barely. And this is my balcony or front porch or whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool. Watching all these people exercising, biking, running, kind of reminds me that I need to start doing that again. I've put on a couple of pounds since school started, so I need to get back in shape. Thank you. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Almost there, guys. Whew. Is that your car? No. No? Not no, your car? Good. No, 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 no. It looks nice, yeah? What is that? It's a panel. Panel? Solar panel, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's my car. Ah, it's cheap, yeah? <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, you wanna see the inside? Yeah, the battery. What do you think, nice. huh? <laughs> Very nice. There's a bed in there. Wow. I sleep. It's a kitchen. I cook. Oh, very <laughs> nice. Very good. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm in my SUV camper. This car I built in the summer of last year. Lived in her for a while before switching to the Camaro. I'm slowly preparing to live in this car full time and I have a cool sponsor to help me with that. And cool is the right term because it's a fridge company. It's called Set Power. This is the new PT series from Set Power. They launched this series last week. This specific model is big. It holds 56 soda cans, but they even have larger units available. So there's two ways to power this device. You can use a 12 volt socket cigarette lighter or you can just use 120 volts power. Let's check what it looks like on the inside. We have two compartments. You can control either of them to act as a fridge or as a freezer. I do like how thick the insulation is, um, even though it makes the item a little bit more bulky, but it's gonna protect your food and drinks in tough environments when it's 100 degrees outside in the summer, for example. The main thing I'm excited about is that this fridge is energy efficient. It has an energy saving mode where it can run on as low as 38 watts. And that's important to me because I'm very conscious about the limited capacity of my battery and the solar system that I have.
Let's try to find a place for this big fridge in this small space. Now, this fridge is the one that we have and we're replacing. It's a cheap $50 darn fridge. Um, it does the job, but it's just not energy efficient by any means. This fridge is not gonna fit, I don't think. Uh, let's see. All right, perfect, perfect. So I could just, uh, every time I go in, I just have to go like this. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work, guys. <laughs> this is my toilet, so I can't really remove. Uh, oh, this is, we can remove the toilet for now. This is actually a really cool setup. Look, I'm sitting like this. I can just access my stuff. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna have to remove my front seat. We're gonna make something really nice out of that space. Um, so this summer is gonna be very productive. We're gonna do a lot of things. This vehicle has a lot more space and you know, I miss, I miss this car. If you're interested in this product, check out the links in the description and give these guys a shot. That guy was cool. He was uh, trying to, he was trying to sell me property though. He gave me his business card. He's a, he's a realtor. I'm the last person who would buy property right now. I'm gonna wash my face look real quick. For some reason, my water is not picking up. Did I use all the water? Okay, here we go. I think my water is running low, guys. What do you guys want to do? Let's reply to your comments on YouTube. Let's see what you guys have to say. Jessica Downey says, people walking by wondering why that car is parked on the side of the road with blacked out windows. Meanwhile, bro, is a YouTuber having a whole cooking show in there? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Microbio8586 says, I can't figure out your accent. Where are you from? So I was born in Jordan, then I moved to Russia when I was a teenager and lived there for a couple of years. And then I moved to the States, so I hope that explains it. If a fire broke out inside of that car, you would be in pretty sad shape. Well, I do take precautions, so I do have a fire extinguisher. Jeff Brandenburg says, great video, save a fortune and see the country. I do, that's the plan. Um, I love traveling, you know, so I need therapy after watching this video. The smells alone in that car after cooking the shrimp and ramen, my God. <laughs> okay, she only talked about the smell. Honestly, guys, right now it smells like coffee because I made coffee. Gary Smith says, big ups and good luck to you, my bro. Thank you, man. Golden Eye Baby says, I remember moving to Reno, Nevada at 23. I tell you, noddles and shrimp was my weekly meal. When I felt fancy, I chopped spring onions in it and melted butter. Oh, that sounds good. You took me back 10 years and it made me smile. New subby, wish you nothing but the best. Ah, such a sweet memory. Thank you for subscribing. Why the switch from the SUV to Camaro? So the SUV was converted in the summer and we lived in her for a little while, but I wanted to demonstrate to everyone that any vehicle can be converted into a camper. So, and I, I mentioned that in the last portion of my full tour video of this car. You know, I talked about that. So make sure you watch that video before asking stupid questions. No, I'm just kidding. I would do this, but then I would have zero girls in my life. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of given. I mean, I don't have, if I had a bigger car, we can talk about dating and stuff, but like this, it's just, it's not a, not possible. Um, wow, amazing, Beverly Williams. Thank you, Beverly. Go give her a heart. In any case, I respect the dedication, but I hope you realize this is not a sustainable solution. It's not sustainable forever, you know? I'm gonna upgrade cars. I'm gonna go back to the SUV, but you know, for a short duration, um, uh, uh, Cabal, it's, 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 it does work. You know, I'm out here doing it right now. Elaine Kent, subscribed from the UK, thank you. I noticed I have a bunch of uh, UK viewers. Uh, that's pretty cool that my videos are reaching all the way out there. Love to UK. Thank you, Elaine, I appreciate the subscribe. Guys, if you subscribe, let me know, drop a comment. I'll make sure I thank you. Pasadena Cat Pink says, this car needs to be manufactured. They're talking about this car. I mean, that's an idea. I would love for a big company to hit me up and, um, you know, do some big projects, you know, work on redesigning vehicles and 
crafting these like stock you can order them you know that'd be really cool Fatima Yakubu says I love the Big Bang Theory it is my favorite too Cassidy says glad to see you have a plan going to nursing school otherwise I would be worried about you uh, one day you can buy yourself a home that's the plan one day I do want to buy I don't want to buy a house but I would like to buy a property and then build my own house whether it's a tiny home or a container home, something like that. Uh, Chris Lopez is asking, how did you manage to get a sink in your car? The whole video, if you watch uh, part two of my conversion, it's on YouTube, it's about 50 minutes. It's pretty long, but I explain how I do everything. I just bought the sink uh, for $70, the water pump rechargeable for $12, and then two water uh, jugs. That's about it, you just hook up the connections. Damn, if this dude had an SUV, he'd be good, or at least four-door car. But very cool and nobody expected in a Camaro. Okay, thank you. This is Viper. Viper, um, SUV content coming soon, don't worry. Debbie Harrison, I love your setup. Thank you, Debbie. Dionel, she says, great video. Love from Garden Grove, California. Thank you so much. I love California. I used to work in North California and I loved it. It's California is so diverse when it comes to um, nature. It, there's mountains, there's valleys, there's desert, there's snow, there's beaches, there's everything. Crypto Pimp, he says, car dweller of six years. Much respect. I'm in a 2015 Volkswagen Passat. I'm upgrading to a Hyundai Santa Fe SUV. I hope you like your new car. Jasmine Rodriguez says, uh, really helpful videos. What do you study? Just curious. I'm studying nursing. I'm, I want to be a nurse. Andrea says, your voice is so nice. I want to hear a full song. I would love to publish a song on Spotify. That's one of my goals as well, actually. Um, so I'll be working on that possibly in the summer. So stay tuned. Oh, Matthew says, you should fish out your window and cook it and get it in. That's actually... <laughs> <laughs> that would be content. Michelle Bruce says, as a professional chef, everything about your kitchen setup horrifies me. Stirring a nonstick pan with a metal fork, the proximity of your burner to the sunscreen, and the lack of circulation. Jeez, I'm 6'6 six, six and lived in my Prius for years. I honestly have no idea how you wanted a sink in your car. Takes up way too much space in my opinion, and you could get much better mileage with an electric cooler car and for even cold meals, and an electric kettle for hot beverages and soup. Well, I'm scaring people, apparently. <laughs> Dave G says, bro, keep being yourself, lol, never change. Thank you, Dave. It's about 76 in my car. Outside, it's about 45. Not bad. No Wi-Fi hotspots around me. I'm gonna have to make my own. So I connected my iPad to my phone and now I can access my documents. We're learning in nursing school about chest injury and here's a question for you guys. Take a guess, what's worse, a blunt trauma to the chest or a penetrating trauma to the chest? So something that hits the skin but doesn't penetrate the skin or something that goes through the skin? Which one of these is worse? I'll give you five seconds. Okay, you chose one. Okay, blunt trauma is worse. That's because the effect that you see as a result from this trauma is delayed and sometimes not visible. Like maybe perhaps it's, a, it's an internal bleeding or like a, a fracture that's so deep. You're walking and you found somebody not moving, eyes closed. What is the first action you do? Number one, you tap and shout to get, try to get a response or you call for help. Which one would you do first? Ready? Okay, the answer is you gotta tap and shout. You wanna see if you can get a response and then you can determine if they were sleeping, taking a nap, um, you know, they're fine, or if they're not fine, then you call for help. I'm predicting it's gonna get really cold, so I'm gonna put on this hoodie. <clears throat> I'm a belly sleeper. There we go. This is as good as it gets in this car. 
update for you guys. It's 11 p.m. I got two hours of sleep. But the cars are just... It's a busy street. So... I'm up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna watch this a little bit. And see if I can get back and just sleep. I noticed that every time I go to a new area where I'm not familiar with, I just don't feel don't feel safe. I need experience in the area first, and then I can just be more comfortable, which will help me sleep. Good morning, guys. I literally slept like this. <laughs> my head under the blanket it got to as low as 52 there's a bird i keep hearing it it's only 4 30 almost 5 but a.m but there's a bird outside that's chirping so loud <laughs> 41 degrees outside Look at that view, guys, through my window. That's so cool. The flame from the stove is warming me up. And it's already boiling. <laughs> Oh man, this is cool. <clears throat> Do you guys hear that bird? It's a bird somewhere. Let me roll up my window. <laughs> We're gonna make some cereal, uh, but I'm gonna do it my way. <laughs> and then in my snack drawer, premium trail mix, frosted flake, milk. Step two, I'm gonna add trail mix. It's got uh, pineapple, banana chips, coconuts, cranberries, walnuts, cashews, and then I'm just gonna add some milk. There we go, guys. Mm. I'll tell you what, it's a lot more filling, you know, versus just plain cereal. Let's put this away. Okay, guys, I'm gonna slowly get ready. We're gonna go to the gym, shower. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe. Where do you want me to park next? What do you want me to cook? Let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, fill up regular, please. Welcome, man. Well, you like it? Yeah, it's my home, man. <laughs> yeah, you want to be on YouTube? Say hi YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's got yeah, a bed. Yeah, yeah I cook. Nice, Thank you. Fill up regular, please. Uh, one room, uh, one thousand dollars. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. You Take welcome. care. Bye-bye.